somebody's a little bit salty. Somebody's a t somebody's a tad bit salty. Well, what did our tattoo tattered friend say this time? Boy, you better be back there training for Chris Cyborg. <laughs> Stay tuned. The coach is going in on this one. And no intro. Oh, boy, the coach going in on this one. Megan, you just keep giving people ammunition to deal with you because, you know, you're so stupid. And listen, let me go ahead and get in. If you're a Megan Anderson fan, I could care less. I'm going to keep it real, and I'm going to keep it raw. Listen, Megan Anderson sitting back at home talking junk about Mackenzie Dern. Okay, let's read. So, Megan, to my, now, I'm going to tell you one point I do agree with Megan, okay? One, one, okay. <laughs> one point I do agree. She said, Dave all got a hard on for Dern, apparently saying, I'm glad she's in Invicta now to develop, which means I'm glad because she will be matched well and given time to improve, and I'm not sold on the hype job as being salty. Listen, listen. I agree with Megan on one part that I was really frustrated with them. They kept talking about Mackenzie Dern this, Mackenzie Dern that. I was frustrated because they never talked about what Kayleen Madero's did. That's it. That's the only similarities we have. Um, you know, yeah, I disagree with Megan about, you know, her being able to develop. I think I'm glad she's able to develop because why put your why put your top charge in there with somebody who's already developed? OK, you just going to I mean, I'm telling y'all, look at Heather Hardy. OK, no, nah, and I'm not sold just yet, but at least she's still able to win. OK, and now Megan go. Oh, and Matt, Sarah, <laughs> these fans laid the F off the salt people. <laughs> They body bagging Megan Anderson. Hey, I want somebody to say, why you ain't fight Cyborg yet? Why you not fight Cyborg, coward? Why? That's my question. Why is Megan Anderson not fighting Cyborg, but she's sitting at home trying to make fun of Mackenzie Dern, somebody who out there at least trying to go get it? How is Megan goofy ass going to explain this, y'all? How's she going to explain this? <laughs> How you going to explain this, Megan? Good. I'm glad I got y'all attention. Here come Megan talking about good win. Average performance, though. Not sure I'm sold on the hype surrounding her. Glad to see her in Invicta, though, to develop. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sarcasm. Wait a minute. Didn't Megan just say, <laughs> this girl's a trip. You know what? Megan started getting like Angela Magana. She's starting to become a troll. Like, Megan is, uh, what is it? Is it because she's prettier than you? Is it because, you know, everybody like to look at her, she eye candy better than you? Is, is that is that it? Mackenzie Dern is eye candy. Compared to Megan Anderson, better eye candy. And then Area Hawana came. <laughs> Area Hawana just body bagged Megan Anderson. Dern wins via armbar with just about 15 seconds left in the fight. Quite dominant. She improves to 5-0. and <laughs> Body bag. Now the coach Shelton Harrison finna body bag you, Megan, and I'm finna body bag you, and I'm finna body bag you like you've never been body bagged before. You guys better listen up right now. Megan talking about Dern striking is just. Well, Megan, your resume is just. Your resume is just. Your resume sucks, Megan. Your resume sucks. And the only per people of notability with some kind of experience that you fought, Charmaine Twait, who at the time was, what, 39 years old, damn near knocked you out, okay? And you had the soccer mom, Cindy Dandois, submit you. You got submitted by soccer mom. You got submitted by Cindy Dandois. Now, I'm not saying Cindy sucks. Cindy actually is a very good ground practitioner, so if she take you down, you're going to sleep. So this is definitely no disrespect to the Battle Cat. Battle Cat, coach loves you over here. That's just how it is. But you got beat by Cindy. Cindy Dandois not even in full training like she used to be. And you got beat by her. Everybody else on your resume is either somebody that Invicta they put they put in there for you to beat up on. Stop it. You a hype job. You a hype job. I mean, who have you fought, Megan? Who have you fought? <laughs> but we know if you fight Chris Cyborg, we know what's going to happen in that fight. Throw the towel. Throw the damn towel. That's what your corner going to say. I got that out of Rocky. Stop, Megan. You're a hater. You're a hater. And you duck Chris Cyborg. Whether you like it, you don't like it, you sit down, you listen to a Megan, you duck Chris Cyborg. Your resume is suspect. Charmaine Twait almost knocked you out. Charmaine Twait. <laughs> oh.
Oh, I know some of y'all, Megan Anderson, I know y'all don't like that. That's fine. I know some of y'all don't even like to laugh. And that's why I do it too, because some of y'all don't like to laugh. But Megan, how you going to explain your resume? <laughs> how you going to explain? Look, look, look. How you going to explain getting submitted by Cindy Dandois? <laughs> the two losses on your resume, the two losses, you know those came from tough fighters. I mean, let's look at the people who actually beat you. I mean, the first person that beat you, I can understand, it's your first fight. I give you that. Cindy Dandois, whoo. <laughs> and you sitting here, you sitting here talking about Mackenzie Dern. Your resume is garbage. Listen, I, I, you and me, Megan, we can break your resume down, fighter by fighter, and I can sit here and debunk. Well, I can, I can sit here and debunk and tell you why that fighter not even not even on a level. <laughs> but that's okay. When you fight the likes of, uh, when you, look, Holly Holm would beat you. Tanya Evinger would submit you, okay? Chris Cyborg would brutalize you. That's why you're scared to take the fight. Talking about I got my own personal stuff going on. No, you duck. Chris Cyborg, Megan. That's what you did. You ducked her. Duck, 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 duck. See, you always try to play victim. Talking about with Chris Cyborg fans. Let me cut this volume up. I'm going to give you all this work. You finna get all this work. See, you always try to play victim. I, I noticed that about you. You try to play victim and say, well, Chris Cyborg got these fans that's just very just uh, erratical and all this stuff. But then you sitting here trying to hate on. You hating on Mackenzie Dern. Why? What you hating on Mackenzie Dern for? Okay, why? You can't even be subjective. At least I said I don't, I'm, not, I'm not buying the hype right now. But at least I can talk about what the girl doing, right? At least I can tell you her striking has improved. What do you expect, Megan? The girl been doing BJJ her whole life. Did you think her striking was going to be just this, you know, Amanda Nunez and Valentina perfect? That's two more fighters that will whoop your ass. Megan, you got fighters in the, in, in the UFC all over that will beat you down. All you do is run your mouth. That's it. Then you said you talked junk about Holly and Jermaine. They beat you up. Holly Holm, Jermaine Durand may will beat you. You see, Megan, the problem with you is, and I, and I realize what your problem is. You got so bad, your self-image sucks. And, you know, you see somebody that could threaten or take away any popularity from yourself, and then you try to compare yourself to them. That's what you're doing. That's why you continuously, I notice about you, it's more of a vanity contest with you. And who can you hate on first? Huh. Mackenzie Dern. You know, my mom used to always tell me, don't worry about what somebody else got going on in their life. But maybe worry about who you got to face. And who are you going to be fighting? Who are you going to be fighting that's waiting on you in the wind to knock your head clean off your body? Who? You see, Megan, every time you see this face, every time you see this name, every single time you see the name, you're going to have nightmares in your dream. Because, Megan, you want no parts of this. And you know you don't. You know you ducked this woman. You know you wanted no parts of Chris Cyborg. And every time the thought of you having a face cyborg comes up in your mind, you're going to get a chill down your spine. And you're going to know that you, your destination, is wall of destruction. How are you going to explain that? I'm done.